Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Investigator here, back with my continuing coverage of the brand new Apple iPad Air 2. And in this video, I thought that I would run a couple of different performance and speed tests to compare the Air 2 to the iPad mini second generation, as well as the iPhone 6 Plus. So the first test we're actually going to run is Geekbench 3. This allows us to check out the single and multi-threaded core performance on these devices. It's going to come up with a score and then we can get a relative comparison to other devices to see how they stack up in the real world in terms of processing power and GPU performance and RAM and it takes all these into accounts to produce some scores. So as we can see here from the iPhone 6 Plus, I am running iOS 8.1. It has an Apple A8 processor inside clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, and we've got a gig of RAM inside of this device. Next up here, we have the iPad mini retina. Now, this is the second generation of iPad mini. It is running iOS 8.1. It's got the A7 processor and it has one gig of RAM. Now I'm using this device here, the second gen iPad mini, but in reality, it's the same processor as the iPad mini 3. So we're not getting any difference in terms of performance between those two. So I figured I would just use the two as I don't have the three. Now finally here we have the iPad Air 2, iOS 8.1. It's got that 1.5 gigahertz processor. It's actually a tri-core performer and it's got two gigs of RAM or nearly two gigabytes. And we can also see it's got the Touch ID sensor just to show you guys that it really is the iPad Air 2. So now we are ready to actually get going with these tests. So I'm going to do my very best to launch all three at the same time. So now we have Geekbench 3 running on all of these devices. Now, I use these three devices because this will be interesting because we've got three different generations of processors. We have the A7 on the iPad mini, the A8 on the iPhone 6 Plus, and Apple has even decided to take it a step farther with the iPad Air 2 running an A8X chip, which is actually a tri-core performer instead of the dual core that we have seen on previous iOS devices. So we got the iPhone 6 Plus up first First, followed by the iPad Air 2, and lastly, we got the iPad mini with Retina. Let's take a closer look at the scores. So we see here that the iPhone 6 Plus had a single threaded score of 1622, 2903 on the multi, then we had 1377 on the single, and 2482 on the multi for the iPad mini 2. So the iPhone 6 Plus has beaten the iPad mini 2 in both of the single and multi-core categories and that goes without a surprise. Finally we see the iPad Air 2 with a single threaded score of 1814 and a massive multi-core score of 4483. So crushing both of the other devices by quite a long shot. And it seems as though even the iPad Air 2 has much better performance than the newly released iPhone 6 Plus. Now, I also thought it would be interesting to compare benchmarks of the newly released Nexus 9. Now, especially between the iPad Air 2 and this device. It is running NVIDIA Tegra K1 processor, a new 64-bit chip. We're getting single core of about 1903. This was the actual official test done by Primate Labs and multi-core of 3166. So the Nexus 9 did narrowly beat the Air 2 on the single core, but the iPad Air 2 did seem to crush the Nexus 9 in terms of multi. The last test that I'm going to run here is Speed Test. This is a application available in the App Store. It's a free app and it tests your Wi-Fi networking speeds or your 3G speeds. In this case, we're going to test Wi-Fi. Now the 6 Plus and the Air 2 both support AC wireless. Now I do have an AC wireless router and the iPad Mini 2 has support up to wireless N. So we might not actually see any differences um, in the actual speeds, but I just decided I wanted to check it out anyways. So we've got the AC device here, an iPhone 6 Plus, and I'm doing all three of these speeds at different times just to make sure we don't get any latency issues um, with all three devices trying to access the same server at the same time or something like that. Just to keep it fair, I decided to run the speed tests at different times. So it looks like we're getting about 29 down and about 4.9 up. So not bad. That's about my maximum performance that I'll get here on my home network running AC uh, Airport Extreme router. Next we have the iPad Mini 2. So this device supports up to wireless N networking. It doesn't have the AC like the two newer devices. 
So just to give you guys a little rundown, if you haven't seen speed test, first it tests your ping just for latency, and then it does download and upload speeds. So it gives you a good grasp on what you're actually getting to your house or on your Wi-Fi network. So it looks like we've got 27.6 on the download, and just waiting for the upload speed here, it looks like we've got about 4.9. So the iPhone 6 Plus did beat the Mini 2 by a bit of a narrow margin. We may not notice any difference in speeds here. It may come down to the actual usability on the device in terms of range and stuff like that with the AC. Finally here on the iPad Air 2, we are going to see if we have a score that beats the other two devices. Now, this is all very random as well. It could just be the actual time that I'm testing. Like, things are changing. There's different variables involved. But regardless, it looks like we get about 27.89 on the download speed. And on the upload speed, we are going to finish up with 4.94. So taking a closer look now at the scores, we have 29.01 and 4.91 on the 6 Plus, 27.63 and 4.90 on the upload for the Mini Retina. So the 6 Plus has beaten the Mini Retina in terms of speed there. And we've got 27.89 down on the iPad Air 2 and 4.94 on the up. So the Air 2 had the fastest upload speed of the three devices but the 6 Plus had the fastest download speed and the iPad Mini Retina had the worst speeds of all three. Now I thought it would be interesting to run a few different Siri prompts and see which device would be able to display an answer the fastest. This was more for fun, but let's just see our results. What is the tallest building in the world? Look at Charge it okay. All right. Here's what I got. Are there any NHL games tonight? Here's the NHL, Here's what's what's coming up in the NHL today. Search the web for Apple. So guys, in this video, we have been able to test some performance in terms of benchmarks for CPU and GPU performance. We've also been able to look at the speed testing with networking technologies inside. We've got AC in the newest two devices here, and we also had a little bit of fun with Siri. I didn't really notice too much of a difference in terms of Siri tasks. Everything seemed to come up around the same time. I think the biggest gains that you're going to get is especially when playing games and doing CPU intensive tasks on the iPad Air 2 which actually appeared to have a higher performance score than the Nexus 9. People are going to be putting these two devices head to head when deciding which tablet to buy. Please leave a like down below if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe for more iPad Air 2 coverage and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.